I'm, uh, we'll open the meeting up at uh, 7.04. Can we all rise? And, and, uh, and I guess Nicole. Oh, you're, you're, okay. Your pre invocation. Um, <coughs> Lord, thank you for um, allowing us to come to our uh, monthly meeting. Um, thank you for getting us through our weeks and letting us all come together as a community. Thank you. And uh, remain standing for a pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Could we please remain standing for a moment of silence for the uh, victims of the uh, that horrific track uh, crash that happened over on uh, in Skahari off of 38? Bush, 
or you know have to pull way over, and there really is no place to pull over. Um, and when he's fertilizing, a lot of times the slurry gets on the road and makes it slippery. Uh, so again, lowering the speed limit would be something that would be very helpful, I believe. And there's many bikers and walkers along the road. Um, again, very little space to walk, and you don't have time. I myself am a walker, and I don't have time to even really get off or space to get off the side of the road when cars are coming, especially when they're speeding. And we do have wild animals, of course, that come across often on Quackenbush Road. Um, deer crossing there all the time under the power lines down by my, my home, which is closer to Gifford Church Road. They come down off the hill and they're crossing there all the time. And of course there are no street lights, but you know, country roads usually do not have street lights, but that seems to be one that isn't you know, of utmost importance, but uh, I feel that some of the other things that I just said are very important. Now Nick told me to come to the town board meeting and present you know, my feelings about changing it, and he said it's really the county roads, and I know it's a county road, but he told me that this would be the first step to come here. Yes, the, the, the first thing I can tell you is that uh, first the, the town board would have to pass a resolution asking the county to lower the speed limit. We've already done that for Route 7 over here, mm -hmm. to lower the speed limit on Route 7. That went to the county, which referred it to the state because it's a state highway. So, but the county has control of that road. We don't have control of it all. But the first step would be is for the town board to pass a resolution asking the county to lower the speed limit. But you do have, you, you did say that you had, a, there's a twofold problem there. You said that there was a problem with the, uh, with the farmer there. Uh, so that's, that's something different that, uh, that could probably be addressed by the town board. I don't know, but uh, uh, maybe we could discuss that. But as far as lowering the speed limit, uh, that is, a, like I said, if the county d decides to lower it and we request it, they would look at it and then make their determination. So the only roads that we have a responsibility for are the town roads to set the speed limits and take care of them. The county takes care of that. Pangburn Road, Gifford Church Road is a state road. Uh, Pangburn Road is a county road like Quackenbush and Windy Hill or any of the other ones, they're county roads that you know, and the county controls the speed limits, and they, you know, they control the uh, the uh, drainage ditches. They control everything on that. And the town really doesn't have any say about it, other than we can request it. Right, so, I knew uh, that. So that's why after talking with Nick, they, you know, said to come anyway here first rather than What was the problem town. with the the uh, farm again? That he's dumping or he's. He, Oh no, well when he when he fertilizes his corn or whatever, you know, his fields, um, it's usually liquid fertilizer. Um, and oftentimes it when he's pulling off onto the road, a lot of it is still leaking out of his equipment and it's on the road and if it's a damp road or um, you know, if it doesn't dry up real quick, which it usually doesn't then it becomes a problem with slipperiness. I think you need to see for speed. If, they, if, if they're speeding. speeding. They, if they speed around that corner, they exactly. go right the ditch. Yeah. It's a little bit lower than the speed. So, you know, if you make it 30, you know how that goes. It doesn't really 30, 35, but that's a lot better than 45 or 50. Well, we can speak to, uh, to the uh, farmer over there. Uh, and uh, I know Doug knows him very well. Maybe he could talk to him about it and see what uh, to do anything with it. Do no, you think you could speak? Well, he's not that bad. It's not that, the problem is the speed limit, like she said. Exactly. It's not they would just go slowly on the road. It is a, the 40 miles an hour is pretty fast on that road. Yeah, you know? I want to turn around. A lot of people go down 15, yeah. sometimes 60. Yeah. Uh, where is your home? There's a Gifford Church Road? Or, uh, yes, it's oh, it is, the third house in from Gifford Church. The third house coming in from Gifford Church on the right? On the left. left. It's on the left. Way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, we can, uh, the only thing we can do is uh, pass a resolution and, uh, I don't know, can we do that? If yeah, everybody wants to do it tonight, pass the county. Yeah. I'm going to do it tonight. Are you in the road? Pardon? The entire length of the road? The entire length of the road. It's 40 the whole way. It's only about a mile and a 
about 1.3 miles. There's a 40 mile an hour speed limit on that road right mm -hmm. now. Yes. yes, it is. Yeah, there is one on each end. They're yeah. on each end. And there right. may be one in the middle somewhere that says 40. What do you think, Doug? <laughs> It is a narrow road, and there's no reason to go 40 miles an hour. That uh, I know that there's no uh, guardrails on that one section over there by. Uh, there used to be, and they took them down. And there's that's a like pretty big ditch, ditch there too. Many times. Yeah, there have been cars in the ditch many. We've had to late there all night before somebody seen it. When some come up. That's right. Is there was absolutely right. Here? They never put them up there. They have one ditch over there. It just drops off. It's That's, pretty deep. You know, by right in front of Benson you know, Hill. Right. Well, actually, all the way from there to my fa father's house, there's a deep ditch on both yeah. sides of the road. It's four foot, five foot deep. I don't know. Uh, can we do a resolution tonight to lower the speed limit? If everybody's in favor. I would now say I've been on that road too, and when there was a tractor, actually, somebody. I was coming towards the tractor was coming at me and I'm coming this way and the car actually went around and never even looked, just flew right around that tractor. But all I gotta coming. say is go over Pangburn Road. I hauled two loads of hay today and that road is supposed to be fifty five. It's double line all the way around Pangburn Road. You know how I turn into my driveway from coming from Kozak's? I get in the middle of the road, I can look in the mirror and I can see them coming. I've had them drive right through my yard and almost hit the telephone pole and I'm halfway across the road because people don't want to wait. Right, and like I said, I've been on and they were coming pretty quick and right around that and coming right at me, mm -hmm. you know, at a high speed. So. Everybody's in a hurry. Right. And it's a double line road, you're not supposed right. to pass on it. No. Okay? But if they go and hit the telephone pole in front of my house, they're going to blame me because I'm in the middle of the road with a hay wagon. Or I think especially because whatever. the farmer does go up that a lot. I mean, he's, you know, to get I mean, to one field to another. The farmer, that's not the point. The point no, is. I understand that, but I'm saying with that kind of traffic, having a tractor on the road, it shouldn't be I a higher speed. Today. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Plus, you never know what's going to come around the corner. It. He's going to be in the middle of the road. Oh, and the, the, the corner is totally blind. Oh, yeah. That, that large sense. corner there. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they come fast with that little thing. Leanne comes out. I, I don't know all the tractor trailers and everything. That's how it's right on my bumper. And, and the tractor trailers, they go all night. Yeah. I mean, we never had that when I was a kid. I mean, tractor trailers go constantly. Can we do a resolution? I'm just referring it to the county. Mm -hmm. It's got to be referred to the county. We've got to pass a resolution. And Sandy, could you write something up there? Mm -hmm. um, we're requesting a. Uh, I don't know if anybody would want my hiked out list of the things that I just went over. Anybody would want to look at it. Or you, uh, you can give it to proposing. Sandy over here if you'd like. Yeah, sure. Sandy, do you have one of the other over there? Yeah. No, not on. No, not on. It's just a question. Okay. Is it possible to get her off the. Uh, uh, Joe Ryan is still there, Willie? Yes. Okay. Joe Landry, is it? 
Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan or Joe Landry. Joe, Joe, Joe Ryan Landry is ahead of it, yeah. Yeah, he's on the And Joe Landry <laughs> is the other one that you can talk about. Either or. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any others? All right. We will uh, close the public hearing up at uh, 7 19. No, it's not the public hearing. Or the public hearing. No, the uh, <laughs> privilege of the floor. I'm sorry. Privilege of the floor, 7 19. Thank you, Doug. Okay. Highway, Nick. Yes, uh, we got some good news here tonight. I'm very, very satisfied with the road work that's done, and uh, I drove all around today and look at all the roads, and uh, we're in pretty good, pretty good shape on all our roads, except now uh, the only one that's going to be coming up next, which is going to be this year, we can appropriate money for it, would be Brookside. Yes. That's the only road that we haven't done since you've been here. <laughs> we got them all under control. Beautiful. And uh, Empire is doing a beautiful job. I love their work. You know? Yeah, and they did uh, Norman Skill and uh, Shag Shag Bar. Bar. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Nick, for taking care of that, too. We yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, it's nice for the driveways. I have no complaints at all. People are all happy with it. It's just worth its weight in gold. <laughs> yeah. So uh, next and next year we're going to be working on Brookside. There's other one there. They're going to be doing the uh, culvert. Remember over on. Well, I was looking at that today, and uh, if the county does that and they go up about 30 feet, they'll take care of the only problem that's on that road right now. It's just rough. It's a little rough, right up above the culvert, you know. So chances are they will fix that, you know, when they do the pipe. I don't know if they're going to do it this year. No, uh, I talked to Joe Ryan, or Joe Landry about it. He said that it's going to be on a schedule for next year. Next year, okay. Yeah, he said next year they're going to be uh, doing okay. that. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, that's good. It'll be all right for another yeah. year. And what about the, the, the fence? Have they come in? Uh, I called them last week. It was supposed to be done, so we got to go over and pick them up. Okay, call me. I'll go with you. We'll go. <clears throat> Thanks. Nick is talking about the fence over here. That uh, we got three more fence. sections coming to wherever. It's going to look nice when we get the barricade out in the middle of it. And then the middle will open up nine foot for the fire truck to go through if they have to without opening all the other ones. That's all right. you got to Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Nick, for everything you do for us. Well, we thank appreciate you. it. You too. You helped a lot, you know? Uh, George, I know I had you come in tonight. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Uh, the water department is very important to the town, so uh, you could give us your report. Yeah, it's been fairly quiet. Uh, finally today, we got a new control panel uh, put in for the, all the electronic control of all the electronics for the pumps and, and tank levels and everything else. And, you know, the six inch screen, just like your TV screen, all of a sudden starts going black. <laughs> and then, half inch to an inch black line going back and forth. Well, it took about four months to get it since we're, you know, our stuff is about 18 years old. And it was the old stuff was being put in there when they built it. And <coughs> they were getting replacement parts for it, but you kind of got to do a little <coughs> jury rigging around with wires and that again change and have special adapters. But Got it up and running today. Last week we tried it. And they worked on it for four or five hours and couldn't get anything to run. So tonight, knock on wood, it's still on. Everything's good then. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all the rest of the water system is good. Yeah, then. <laughs> we don't talk about it too much. <laughs> well, that's what we like when there's no problems. So, is there any questions for George? No, every time I turn my water on, I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps it flowing. <laughs> Every time my phone rings at 10 o'clock at night, I wonder who's calling. <laughs> Where's the water flowing? Or I see the name, or I see somebody's, you know, name pop up at a strange hour, and I say, 
What's he calling me about now? What's the problem? <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> Water in the main break. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any, so any questions for no, George? Thank you, George. Uh, no. Okay. Everybody's good. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Thank you for coming over thank here. You. I appreciate it. I uh, because the water department is important to the town, so we'd like to have you here to to make your presentation. So. Yeah. Oh, and as you know, you and I have talked and. Uh, as I said, Stanford County held a town coming about a week ago, a week and a half ago. I want to know whether the water main break. And there was an article in the paper also about the comptroller's office saying people not being notified. And we do, whosoever water is getting shut off, either try to call, knock on their doors, or I have papers I attach to their door someplace, you know. Your water is going to be shut off at such and such a time or something like that. And then afterwards, we do go through and we do call the county health department. Every, every time we have a leak, you got to call the health department. We call the county health department and they tell us, you know, I tell them what the problem is, how many houses are shut off, how long it's going to be possibly shut off for, everything else. And they tell me what to do, either just, you know, and we flush the lines, make sure the chlorine going through that section, get good chlorine residual, stuff like that. You know, or if you have to boil the water, which luckily in 18 we years, haven't had to do. We haven't had to do it in 18 years. So. Okay. Well, thank you, George. Thanks uh, for all you do for the town, too. Hey, you're welcome. We appreciate it. Well, I thought the follow up pretty soon we get it out because we got to bring the trailer and everything back. <laughs> Okay, I've got to talk to you about something else too. So after the meeting or during the week, maybe tomorrow. Is uh, code enforcement? Did he give us our report? Is there? Any, there's no questions for George. Nope. Okay. Uh, this is from the building inspector. Total permit seven. Permits issued was six. Permit fees collected was two thousand eighteen dollars. Inspections was seven. Code zoning inspections was one, fire <coughs> inspections was zero, final building inspections was one, Certi certificates of occupancy was one, financial report was $3,303.04, check to the supervisors was $3,000, checkbook balance as of October 9, 2018 was $303.04, activities and zoning two, working on complaint as needed, working on planning and zoning as needed, working on permit final inspection as needed. This is from Thomas Perini. And if there's any questions, uh, he's in his office right now. Uh, we could ask him to come in if the town board has any questions they'd like to ask him. Okay. Everybody's good? Okay. And Ben? Uh, we have a rabies clinic on Saturday, Sandy was at nine to eleven. Yes. And uh, we'll be That's there for Saturday. that this Saturday. It's going to be here at the town hall, uh, so everybody's welcome to come in for their dogs, cats, and I think ferrets. I don't know how many people have ferrets in Prince Town, but bring your ferrets. What's it going for? Uh, rabies. Rabies. Yeah. Uh, had only one call, which was today, it was yesterday uh, on Vernon Road. There was a resident that had a complaint about neighbors' dogs barking often. So um, I had a chance to get over there today and I spoke to the uh, owner's uh, fiance. And uh, she said. Was she, that down on this end or up in the north end? Uh, on Vernon, it was down on this side, yeah. And uh, she was cooperative and she. I uh, didn't realize that they were causing a disturbance to that degree that the neighbors were upset about it. So she seemed more hurt that, you know, they never said nothing to her about it. So I just um, reminded her also that uh, there are kind of new residents in the area that the dog's got to be licensed. And she didn't realize that they had to have a license in Princeton. <laughs> but <laughs> she thought it was Mayberry. I don't know. 
<laughs> but, uh, lost, man. Yeah, yeah. Lost. so I, I reminded her of that. So she should be in to see Sandy uh, Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, pretty so. Uh, a couple of dogs they have, so, so get them licensed. I'm sure we'll keep uh, an eye out to make yeah. sure she comes in. Yeah, I let her know that she has to make sure that they have their rabies vaccines in order to have them licensed. And uh, so she was cooperative, and I called the uh, the owner who complained to let him know, um, you know, that everything was okay. If there's any more trouble to have have him call me up, let me know what's going on. So other than that, uh, no dogs running around or nothing. It's been quiet. Okay. <clears throat> any questions for Ben? They put on a nice uh, meal over here at the uh, Pine Grove Fire Department, too. Ben worked it. So yeah, it was, the uh, chicken, chicken barbecue, meal. the weather put a little damper on it, but the uh, shelter made out pretty good down at Schenectady. They got a lot of extra chicken down at the uh, Schenectady shelter downtown. We had to bring them down there because we had a lot of chicken and can't go to waste them. Bring it down and drop it off for them. Did you have a lot left over? Yeah, we had three trays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that a lot? I mean. Yeah, I mean there, there's good, good amount of chicken on each one. So, uh, city mission ain't good, and Schenectady City Fire got a tray also. Dropped one off for them. So they were happy about that. So, that happens sometimes. But know. overall, the turnout's good. We had pulled pork as well, so. The combination of pulled pork and chicken, I think, is one of the reasons we had so many extra chicken. Everybody was getting pulled pork sandwiches. <laughs> Might have that instead next next time. Yeah, but it's always good people support the, you know, Pine Grove, so it worked out all right. Okay, any questions for Ben? No. Okay. And the assessor's office, he doesn't didn't give me a report, but. Uh, you also did uh, wanted to make sure that everybody understands that the town never gave, uh, we never reassessed any properties, and it was the businesses that were uh, hit the hardest with the uh, with the uh, school tax. Uh, had nothing to do with the town of Princetown. I said it at the last meeting, and uh, we're still on board to uh, send out a card to all of the businesses and all of the residents. We did not uh, reassess anybody's properties. I want to make that clear. We did not reassess anybody's properties, and we have nothing to do with the uh, school tax and what they charge our residents. That's strictly uh, Shelmont High School that did that. And uh, from what I understand, they say it's not, it was uh, not spread out fairly, but I, that's not for me to say. That's up to... Uh, to the uh, businesses to uh, discuss that amongst themselves. So, uh, buildings and grounds, we had a boiler inspection today, it passed. Thank you, Sandy, for letting them in and taking care of the opening up the water line to uh, check the valve. State police, there's no problems over there. Everything's been uh, going along very smoothly over there, no complaints at all. Nick had reported on the roads. Uh, Willow Run is almost uh, complete next year. It'll be completed. And overlook will be looked at next year to see what's got to be done with that. The uh, LED lighting that we approved a few months ago, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell, the, uh, tell them to order the lighting and uh, have it installed in the coming months. That was approved, I don't know, I think about three months ago, wasn't it, Sandy? Uh, I got a notice from the uh, Center for Security, the handicapped accessible doors has to be uh, inspected again, so we'll uh, take care of that. And then we also did get a uh, letter from Spectrum that they're raising their rates. The town has nothing to do with uh, how they handle their rates. But, uh, and we asked them to renegotiate with us about that, and they had not gotten back to us. Uh, 
there is a contract that they're supposed to, to follow with the town, but we have no control over what the rates they charge. And we, we get nothing from, from Spectrum. Other than that, uh, I got this notice in the mail that they're going to raise their rates again. Okay, uh, that's all I have. Oh, uh, there is, uh, in the uh, newsletter this coming month, there's going to be a tree lighting ceremony that's going to be done at the town hall. We're going to decorate the town hall <coughs> and the entranceway coming in, the, the, the tree in the front. That's going to be, I think, December 2nd, Sandy? I think it was the 4th. The 1st? 4th. The 4th? Okay. So uh, the public is invited and uh, should be a nice, uh, nice event for the uh, town of Princetown. It was the second. The second. Yeah. yeah. It is the second. Okay. And we're going to have Santa Claus here. Who's going to be Santa Claus? I'm going to have a beard. <laughs> we'll have to get you one. <laughs> okay, other than that, that's all I have. Any questions? So I want to Lou, I want to mention one thing. Rooted drive now that you can they cut the driveway in, which I was concerned about uh, water coming down it, disturbing the road. I drove through there today and it looked pretty good. They got crusher run in it. There's only a few stones in the road, which isn't bad. But I wanted to mention it because uh, I'm concerned this winter. We'll see what happens with it this winter. Oh, okay. But he did it. He's, he's, got, good, he's huh? got ditches on both sides, so. Yeah, he did a decent job. Yeah, it's it good. looks good. He did good. But it does go downhill and comes out to the road, you know? And there's only a few stones in the road. It wasn't bad. Well, they've been going in and out. There were dump trucks. They're, well, they're building right now. Seven. They're building a house, aren't they, Doc? Yeah. Okay. Where about on, on Ruger? Halfway up. When you get up, you going up the hill where the bank was there, I was very concerned Where's about this. Star. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right? George, you crashed through there all the time, isn't it, George? Straight my heat field. Yeah. George sees. That looks pretty good, right, George? <clears throat> yeah, I'm waiting for somebody to come in asking about a water from that. Nobody's come in yet. So let's see what happens this winter. So, you know, that was the problem was in the winter when the ice starts coming down and going in the road. Yeah. So they know that they're going to take care of it, whatever, and they're going to pay for it because it's in the contract. So, okay, that's about it. Well, thank you. All right, there, uh, there is one other thing I wanted to mention. The, uh, the solar company that said they had to have the solar law and it had to be done by a certain date, and uh, they were all so concerned about it. The application has been filed with the, uh, with the planning board. I thought I heard November they were coming. <clears throat> I I <laughs> they were well, going to do this. They were going to do this in. I uh, thought somebody. Uh, I don't think August. It was going to be August, September, October. I thought I heard that they were going to be coming in November. Or, I don't know if I just made this up, but I thought they were coming for the November. Well, as of this well, day, there's no. still no application. No. Okay. <laughs> there's no application yet, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe unless they put one in today or yesterday or whatever. But it's as far as I know, two weeks before the planning board meeting, maybe. Yeah, it's two more weeks. Okay. So they have to have it in like now, basically, if they want to do happen for the lizard. I think. I haven't heard of anything that's been uh, put in yet. So, other than that. Okay, moving right along over here. Let's Princetown 2019 budget. Uh, okay, it is hereby resolved that in accordance with the provisions of number 106 of the town law and other applicable provisions of the law, the town board of the town of Princetown approves and adopts the 2019 tentative budget as the, as the 2019 preliminary budget 
such preliminary budget will be filed in the office of the town clerk where it will be available for public inspection. This is just a mandatory thing that we have to move it forward. Uh, we'll have the public hearing in a minute. But uh, <coughs> is there any questions on it so far? Everybody has a copy of it. <coughs> we had a meeting with it. And uh, is everybody fine with it? Yeah. Yes. So? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Sandy? On your motion? I'll make it. Yes. Is there a second? Second. Sandy? Councilwoman Schaefer? Yes. Councilwoman Mora? Yes. Councilman Gray? Yes. Supervisor Espinero? Yes. Public hearing to allow comments regarding the 2019 preliminary budget for the town of Princetown. Uh, suppose we can open up the public hearing at uh, 739. Comments? Well, I can make one over here. Again, we have no town tax. It's a very lean budget. And I think that the town board should be very happy with what we've done so far. Our, our, uh, our fund balance is right at its maximum at this point. And, uh, like I said, we're not going to have any town tax, not this year or any time in the near future. I'd just like to thank the town board so far for the work that they put into uh, to working on the budget. And uh, we're open for public comment. And no, there's no comments. We'll close it at... Uh, 7:39. Okay. Copy of the uh, of the uh, budget is available to anybody over here that wants to see it. We'll be voting on the uh, the final budget on uh, the next town board meeting. Like I said, I'd like to thank the town board again for the work they put in on it, and uh, very proud that we do not have another. You know, we're not going to have a town tax. And they're not going to be planning on one in the near future. So. General funds claim is hereby resolved. The town board approves claim. You got to go through the minutes. Did I miss one? Uh, yeah, you can pay this. Through the minutes and then the All the minutes. That's good. Thank you. Is your minute? Meeting minutes. It is hereby resolved that the meeting minutes of September 11, 2018, regular town. Town board meeting are approved or as amended. Any discussion? I'll make a motion. Is there a second? second. Councilwoman Schaefer? Yes. Councilwoman Moore? Yes. Councilman Gray? Yes. Supervisor Esposito? Yes. Approval of the town newsletter. It is hereby resolved that the town board of the town of Princeton approves the distribution of the town newsletter as presented. Everybody had a copy of it. The only thing is now that uh, under the supervisor's letter, uh, I had put in there that we were going to be repaving the roads. Well, now they're already repaved. But uh, as of this date, it went to press. So. It's approved. Uh, is there any questions on it? Discussion? Sue? I'll sit with it. Doug? No. Okay. Uh, is there a motion? I'll make it. Any second? Good. Sandy? Councilwoman Schaefer? Yes. Councilwoman Moore? Yes. Councilman Gray? Yes. Supervisor Esposito? Yes. General funds claims is hereby resolved that the town board approves claims number 186 through 204 in the amount of $23,027.
Discussion? Is there a motion? I'll make it. A second? I'll sign that. Sandy? Councilwoman Schaefer? Yes. Councilwoman Laura? Yes. Councilman Gray? Yes. Supervisor Esposito? Yes. Waterfront's claim. It is hereby resolved the town board approves claims number 93 <coughs> from number 99 in the amount of $2,435.93. Uh, discussion? I'll make the motion. I'll Sir. second. Sandy? Councilwoman Schaefer? Yes. Councilwoman Mora? Yes. Councilman Gray? Yes. Supervisor Esposito? Yes. And uh, the resolution to lower the speed limit? Sandy? Um, it is hereby resolved that the town board re refers a request to Schenectady County to lower the speed limit to 30 miles per hour on Quackenbush Road from Giffords Church Road to Pangburn Road. Is that okay? Sounds good to me. Better than the one I had earlier. Any more discussion on it? No. Uh, Susan made the motion. I'll second. <coughs> Councilwoman Schaefer? Yes. Councilwoman Mora? Yes. Councilman Gray? Yes. Supervisor Esposito? Yes. Okay. Council members, comments or concerns? Discussion? Sue? Okay. I'm good. I'd like to thank everybody for the flowers for my wife. And everybody who that attempt. Spouse, it's always difficult, Doug. No matter who it is, what family it is. Anything else? Okay. We'll uh, hereby resolve that the town board meeting is adjourned at 7:47. I'll make the move. Councilwoman Schaefer? Yes. Councilwoman Mora? Yes. Councilman Gray? Yes. Supervisor Esposito? Yes. Thank you all for coming.